children how are you all yes to introduce you i am shifa from nie so how are you feeling in this pandemic are you feeling very bored or are you feeling excited to watch this program yes okay so let's start today's program is about uh, storytelling so we would be uh, telling you a story about the sly fox and the little red hen are you interested to watch yes so listen very carefully i'll be giving you a lot of questions about this okay going to read about the story of the sly fox and the little red hen now tell me where what is this mm, that is the sly fox and then this super the little red hen okay where are they yeah you can see a lot of trees hmm they are in the jungle so you got the answer correct right so which means the jungle is the setting of the story okay hmm now we are talking about a sly fox and a little red hen so what are they they are the characters of the story okay so these are the two main characters of the story the sly fox and the little red hen children do you know that the uh, fox belongs to the dog's family and there is a much better surprise because this fox also belongs to the cat's family do you know why because they all hunt at night and then there is a much stranger story about the fox when the baby foxes are born they are blind which means they can't see do you know that and then these baby foxes they stay with their mother for a very long time before going out on their own now before beginning to the story what did sly fox actually want to do yes thumbs up yes he wanted to eat the little red hen for his dinner Yes and then why did the little red hen always keep his store locked hmm not to let strangers in to the house so he always keeps his key inside the pocket now let's listen to the story are you interested yeah okay so we start the story everybody <laughs> Hello, I am Shifa from NIE and today I am going to read you a story. The name of the story is The Sly Fox and the Little Red Hen. The story was edited by Bob Williams. A little red hen lived alone in the woods in a rocky cave. Nearby lived a sly old fox. The fox always dreamed of catching the little hen and cooking her for dinner. Oh my! Let's see what happens. But the little red hen was very clever and she was always careful to lock her door. At last the fox thought of a way to catch her he waited for the little red hen to leave the house while she was busy collecting sticks for her nest the fox crept through the woods towards her house the fox carried a bag with him and he sneaked 
into the hen's little house. The little red hen had a terrible fright when she found the fox in her house. She flew up on a light beam. You can't catch me here, she said to him. So you might as well go home. Are you sure of that? asked the fox as he began chasing after his own tail. Faster and faster he ran and the little red hen became very dizzy watching him. She fell off the beam and the fox quickly put her in his bag. He then started off for home. So he, he would be having a good dinner, right? But the fox was tired from running. She took a nap. Then Hen took her scissors to cut her way out of the bag. The clever hen filled the fox bags with stones. Then she trotted off for home. The fox soon awoke and carried the bag into his house. He put on a huge pot of water to boil. Oh, here it is. Yes, let's see what happens to the fox. But when the stone splashed, in the boiling water. The fox scalded badly. He never bothered that the hen again. No. And that's the end of the story. Thank you. Everybody. Okay, was the story interesting for you? Yes, I was watching from the beginning till the end. It was very interesting for me. Okay, now that you have listened to the story, I'll ask you some more questions. Okay, uh, tell me, how did the fox catch the hen in the end? Was there any intent of the fox making the hen dizzy or go round and round the house? Oh, yes. He just wanted to make it dizzy so that the hen will fall down and then it will be easy for the fox to catch. Yes, so your answers are great. Yes, you gave the correct answers. Well done. Now tell me, who is the smartest from this story? The fox or the hen? Yes, super. You have listened to the story very well. Yes, that's great. Now let's turn to this page of the story. It says Red Hen put some heavy stones in the bag. Then she ran all the way home. So tell me, who is more clever? The fox or the hen? Yes, your answers were very, very correct. Good job. Children, now that we have read the story, I have asked you a lot of questions. Now let's play a little game. Are you ready? Yay! Okay, here we start. Okay, remember to read the question very, very carefully. That's the most important thing. Okay, so now it says in the question, drag and drop the items which help the little red hen save herself from the fox. So we have to drag these items. Okay, so we start. Uh, shall we start from the key first? Okay, now that you have told it's the key, let's see. Hey, yes. It went. Yes, so that means the red hen kept the key in the pocket. Okay, 
Let's see. Uh, will she need uh, the ruler? Let's see. Oh, the ruler didn't help, right? Okay, let's see. The thread and the needle. Will it help? Yes? Might it be inside her pocket? Let's see. Let's drag. Let's drag into the hand. Yes, it went. It worked. Yes, this means the needle and the thread was inside her pocket to stitch that bag. Right? Okay, kids. This time, buttons. Will she need the buttons? No, it didn't work. Let's see the about the pair of scissors. Oh my goodness, yes. So that means she used the pair of scissors to cut all those thread. Okay? Mm, measuring tape. Might it be helpful for her? No, it didn't go. The pencil? We'll see. Might be to sketch. But no, it didn't go. Fork, will she need it? To take it in the, in the jungle for her to eat? No. So, what were the items which helped the little red hen save himself from the fox? Yes, the key, the thread and the needle, and the pair of scissors. Yes. So, we will keep this game in our NIE website so that you can download and then play the game. Okay? That's good. <laughs> now, this time it's your task. For the homework, what we would like you to do is you have to draw some things you would be carrying if you were the little red hen. Draw it, color it and then don't forget to send a picture to your teacher. Okay? I would be hoping to get a lot of pictures from you. For those in UKG, you have to draw and then name. Those who don't know to write the name, you can get help from your parent. Okay? Now, for those in LKG, what you have to do is take an outline of a hen from the Google and then you can decorate the little red hen. You can use magnum sticks, you can use feathers, any stuff you want. But remember to take a picture and send it to your teacher. Okay? Good children. Oba? Auntie, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go Auntie Mel Lana, Auntie Mel Gaina, website, Erun Lima, Tikudi may download Kolavis, Kialam Pasehava. The okay, no Pashama. A haring a cuckoo, don't eat the cuckoo, Baha Baha go away, a de cuckoo, Fadum cuckoo, a bissalae, de pigungalae, a haring a cuckoo, tim bissalae. Baha baha goa mundum bebe kukul Kagindu vani bisves nala Bisves nala Hattaring hamako fas bisalaye Ayakunguna mung hap bisalaye Aliga abadu abisavaye Anuwa bisaharem poruva pavaye Puruva pavaye Diha bisalaye Aharenge kukul Gega avaye Abadange kukul Bula lepe namung Aharenge kukul 
दुवे पापिलाए दोन तीति कुकुल दोन तीति कुकुल नहरेंगे कुकुल दोन तीति कुकुल बाहा बाहा गोवे आधे कुकुला फैदों कुकुला लवर रीति दो आंटी उम्मीद करेंगे लवर रीति वाले का माँ कोबा लवर निम्न ही दो आंटी आपको क्या ला रीति लवे इतना देखिए कब आंटी आपको कुना लंदा हो मेरे को ता दिवे ही नहीं के एके दे हिने हाथरे फाहे हाये हाथे आशे नुवाए दिहाए देखिए ना फाहतक गुना लो मा दिहाए नुवाए आशे हाथे हाये फाहे हाथरे हिने दे एके बराबर वरम मोल माशाल्लाह Now, this time, this is a different type of question where you have to look at the pictures and order them in the correct form. Okay, so what do you think? Over here, it is the sly fox sleeping. Next, the sly fox put in the bag of stones into the pot. And over here, the sly fox is dreaming about eating the chicken. And here, the red hen is turning around and around the house. And here, the red hen is filling the bag of stones. So, if you are going to order in the correct form, it should be, uh, number one should be the sly fox thinking about the little red hen to be eaten. Yes. Number two. What would be the number two? Yes. Will it be this one? Let's see. Yes. It's going into the house and then making the red hen turn around and around to make the hen dizzy. Number three. The sly fox takes the hen and on its way it felt asleep. Oh, yes. Super. Okay. So, when it felt asleep, the red hen, yes, it went out and then filled the bag with the stones. Uh, so, the last one would be the sly fox taking the bag of stones and then putting in the pot. Yay! So, we will be putting this game in the NIE website so that you can download and play this game. Hope you love the game. Yes? Okay, now it's time to say goodbye. Hope you love the story and hope you love the games. Next time, inshallah, we will meet you soon. Bye-bye.